Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect your AirPods 3rd generation to your Xbox Series S. So how this works is we're going to pair our AirPods to our phone or tablet, and then we're going to pair our phone or tablet to our Xbox, and what that means is audio from the Xbox will be playing uh, from our AirPods 3rd generation. So in order to get this started, all you need to do is on the Xbox Series S, you want to navigate over to Settings, and once you're inside the Settings here, you just want to find right here devices and connections click on this one then find remote features click on this one and enable remote features right there once you have enabled remote features what you want to do is you want to go on your phone or your tablet and you want to download the xbox app it's in the play store it's in the app store just get it downloaded and open it up now once it's opened up you want to sign in to your xbox account which is on your Xbox. So make sure you use the exact same account, otherwise your Xbox will not show up for remote play. Next, what you wanna do is you want to open up the settings app and then find Bluetooth on, uh, if you're on Android, the process will be slightly uh, different. Uh, once you're here, you just want to pair your AirPods free to your device. So for me, it's just opening up the lid and then selecting the AirPods. And just like that, it will pair. If you don't know how to pay your AirPods to your phone or tablet, you will need to uh, look it up on YouTube or Google. So we'll just give it a little bit. And I don't know why it's... I think, I think my AirPods are actually dead. So I'm going to charge them up and I'll be back. So now you can see when I actually open up the AirPods, you see that green light. That means that I do have some charge. So let's try this again. Just going to open up the lid. Tap on my AirPods right here. And you can see, there we go. Uh, connected and so all you need to do is you want to go back in the xbox app so just open that up and if you have uh just one xbox you just tap on the top right here tap on this icon and then you're going to see remote play onto this device however if you have multiple consoles just tap on uh this right here and then go here and you'll be brought to the library and then select the console you have so i have series s and a uh, series x so i'm going to tap on this one and then you see here remote play tap on this and then tap on don't show again, continue, and just give it a little bit, and now remote uh, play will start. So once you've remote played, what it's going to do is it's going to sync the video, and it's also going to sync the audio from your Xbox Series uh, S to your tablet or your phone. And when that's uh, done, because you connected your AirPods to your tablet, the audio from the tablet is going to be played off of the AirPods. So we'll just tap on continue anyway, and you can see... Everything's being synced. I don't have very fast internet, but you can see things do look pretty smooth. So let's say uh, you see my monitor's right here. I'm going to turn off my monitor. And the reason I'm going to turn it off is so that you can hear the audio is going to come from the AirPods. And let's say I'm going to open up right here, uh, Black Ops Cold War. So when I open it up, hopefully the audio, okay, the audio isn't coming from the AirPods. And I'm going to fix that by going into the eye here. And... <laughs> Accessory model name 19 and I'm just going to turn off automatic ear detection and this means you'll be able to hear the audio So right here. This is my right airpod and I'm going to put it next to the mic and you should be able to hear If I actually turn up the audio Like this Let's give it a little bit It's a bit quiet, but hopefully you can hear that It'd Be embarrassing if you can't well, I mean, I can hear it when I put it right next to my ear, but I don't know where the mic is. So I'm going to move this around, and hopefully you can hear the audio. And yeah, it's been played off of the AirPods. Of course, if you do this yourself, you'll be able to have the same experience. Now, one disadvantage is depending on the internet speed, the audio latency may be low or it may be high. So for me, it's kind of medium. So like I hear the audio like 0.2 uh, seconds after the game. Uh, you know, actually plays it. So that's just one thing to note. However, it does work pretty good. So, um, yeah, hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.